We are holding tonight's event on the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people. A land acknowledgement is one of the first and most simple things we can do on working towards the path to reconciliation. As a political party, we are a patriarchal colonial project that's part of a machine that is violently oppressing the land and the people who steward it. In the Green Party, we'd like to think that we are trying to do something differently. We would like to take the tools to take down the master's house. It's not yet clear if we can do that. It hasn't been done before. This is particularly interesting, complex, as a national party, as we set our sights out across a land that is divided by invisible lines built to separate us. As we turn our eyes forward to the future of the party, I like to think about the term Mino Bamadzuin, which means living good life. Living good life, everyone has their own good life, and that will look different to everyone, but it is extraordinarily important that we work towards that in whatever capacity we have, whether you are a mother or a teacher, a lawyer or a leader. And I hope we will bear that in our minds going forward with this project. Without further ado, I would like to turn the, turn the event towards our Indigenous opening from Uma Anis, Deputy Leader of the Green Party of Canada, Rainbow Eyes. I can't start my video. Oh. Gayla Kessler, uh, thank you. I'm just trying to start my video. And it says, I cannot start it because the host has disabled it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Ian. Um, I hope everybody can hear me and I would love to be able to start my video. I'm so, so grateful um, to be here with everybody today. I've been feeling the energy all day and of the excitement. Um, and I actually am on the traditional territories of the Tsaikom First Nation. Um, it's in North Saanich, and I'm sorry. No video. No video. No. Yeah, no video still. And I um, I feel like. Technology is treating us right now how the colonial system wants to treat us. Um, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works, and we just have to roll with it. Today I watched my brother get arrested. I'm just going to share a story of what my day was like. Because when we live for a, the land, like so many of us do in the Green Party, we get tired and we can't stop, but we just have to keep going. Our brother Chiokden was arrested today for protecting his territory and standing up for trees. <clears throat> and we watched him be put into the back of a cruiser, standing up for trees being cut down on private property, private property on his territory. So we're defending land and we want to protect these trees but the colonial system keeps shutting us down, but we have to find a way to work around it. We have to find a way to be like water and just like work when the technology doesn't wanna work. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Um, and just keep going. And we've learned that we can just keep going until we find, we find it. 
um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll share some information and link um, about what's happened. You can find it further. So I just wanted to burn some incense for us all. Gayla Kesla, thank you. Nugwa um, Am Rainbow Eyes. I'm a, I'm a member of the Danatao Awitlala First Nation. And our traditional territory is Night Inlet here on Vancouver Island. And I feel like Elder Bill Jones from the Pachidat First Nation has said to many people that we are all Indigenous and it is time to all find the Indigenous in us. So I just wanted to burn some sage. This is from Uncle Stacy from the blockade to clear out the energy here and to bring in energy of the new time. We're here for the new leader. The song that I'm going to sing today is the Woman's Warrior song. And I just wanted to say a few words before I sing our, sing the song. And it's about the woman's warrior. How now is the time that we have to connect to the feminine aspect of ourselves. Ian said we live in a patriarchy. But the patriarchy is crumbling. It is the patriarchy that arrests us this morning, arrested our brother and didn't listen to what he had to say about our mother earth that he was trying to protect. We have to find our place. We have to connect with the feminine inside of us. And this is what the song is about. So I came from Fairy Creek. I spent, I lived in the forest last summer. And at Fairy Creek, we all found our place. This was the magic of it. We all found what we could do in Fairy Creek. Nobody told us what to do. There was no leaders. It was, um, it was decentralized. But the beautiful thing is that the women became the, natu the natural leaders. It was the women at Fairy Creek who people naturally followed. And this is the time that we're entering into. And this is the connection to the song that I'm gonna sing. It's a connection to the natural laws. It is through the feminine aspect that we will connect to Mother Earth and bring about the natural laws and bring the indigenous laws to the surface because it's the colonial laws that we need to teach and open up. And we can do that through IPAC, the Indigenous People's Advisory Circle through the Green Party. And it's in the Green Party that we all have to find our place like we did at Fairy Creek. Nobody will tell you what to do, but it is up to us, each one of us to stand up because we feel the time is now. We must do something now. And we can only do this when we come together and we become inspired be, with each other when we eat together. So this is something that we, we must start doing. So this is the start of it. Our new leader is here. And I just wanna send a prayer out to the leader today. May you be guided, may spirit guide you, may your heart guide you. May, be, may you, the feminine matriarchal aspect guide you. May Gaia, Mother Earth, guide you on your path. May you connect to all people, unify people. I believe that the Green Party is the way to the rainbow nation through our hearts. So, Gayla Kesla, and I will sing the Women's Warrior song. And I know many people know it too, so please, please sing along. So we sing this four times to the four directions. And um, yeah, this is for the women warriors. This is on the, this is for the journey that we're all on right now for mother earth. We're all on this journey together as warriors. Okay. Hey, 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 I feel, oh, yeah, I feel, oh, hey. Yeah, 
It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Maybe I just wore these heels so I can be tall enough on this stage. We'll see. Thank you so much. And bienvenue tout le monde. Le moment est presque arrivé. Welcome to everyone in person, to everyone on Zoom, on every way you could possibly watch this tonight, to the close of our leadership contest. First, I will explain why I am here in drag. And there's two main reasons for this. The first, of course, is that you all deserve entertainment <laughs> at this point. And the second main reason is so that it's okay for anyone who uses she, her pronouns for me. <laughs> and quite honestly, if the prime minister can go on drag race, why can't I do drag? And I must say, I have really enjoyed my time being queen of the Green Party. Nous sommes maintenant dans une période intéressante. Le vote s'est terminé, mais, mais on n'a pas le résultat. Donc, I'm beginning to think that we should call this time the Schrodinger's leader scenario. Because ostensibly we have a new leader, but we haven't observed the results yet, so it's not real. I'm sorry, I must apologize because as a physicist, I actually hate inaccurate physics jokes that are not right scientifically. So I'm sorry to myself and to all of you. Now, being leader of a national party is a unique and sometimes odd experience that one or perhaps a few of you are about to experience. Pour moi, l'expérience était variée. Ma journée préférée était le jour du budget, dans le huis clos avec notre focus. Et aussi, c'est très intéressant, des fois d'être reconnu, des fois pas du tout. I was con constantly assumed to be staff, which I must say I really enjoyed. This is what happens when you look young enough. And I found out after a while that when I said I was interim leader, or someone introduced me as interim leader, they thought I said intern. So it turns out I was the intern leader, <laughs> shadowing everyone, of course. And I must congratulate myself a little. We Greens love our forests and our trees, yet I resisted making a multiple minute video talking about wood. Someone else got to do that. <laughs> so as my year in this role ends, and nous sommes en train d'accueillir un nouveau ou nouvelle chef, nous avons aussi un autre nouveau visage. And, or perhaps I should say an old new face, someone you already saw this evening, our new president, Ian Sutar. Welcome. Well, thank you. It sure is crazy to be up here with you, isn't it? I know. And I, I have to say, maybe these shoes are also so that I'm not like here. <laughs> Sorry, I got that this like vertical man spreading going on here. <laughs> I'm still learning about the man spreading to do a better job. <laughs> You'll get used to it. The world's made for us, baby. <laughs> This makes me think, though, of the first time that I met you when I joined the party. It feels like a really long time ago. It's probably only been, is it, did we say it's four years now? Four years, and can you imagine? We're the old guard. <laughs> yeah, it's the youngest people in the room usually, and yet we've been around the longest, it seems. If We used to be the young greens, right? And now we're, I guess we're old. the old greens? I guess we're the old greens in. The new old greens. The new old, old, old out with the new, in with the old. We better ask Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I'll leave the party to you. <laughs> Thank you, Mita. Ben, comme vous avez écouté, je suis Ian Sudar et je suis le nouveau président du Parti Vert Canada. 
quel étrange pour moi. Si vous m'avez demandé il y a quelques années, si c'était là où vous pensiez que j'aurais été, je ne dirais définitivement pas, mais je suis vraiment en attente de cette opportunité pour être une partie de l'aider le parti qui nous donne là où je sais que nous pouvons aller. Uh, so I joined the party, for those of you who don't know, uh, I got involved in the party in 2015. After being overseas for many years, I returned to Canada, said I have some free time, I should do something with that. I really liked trees and uh, I thought that was something that I should work for. My mom's a forest, off, or forest ranger and my dad makes green energy, green stuff for sure. Uh, well, where's the fight for the trees happening? Uh, oh, who's this Stephen Harper guy? Ugh, gross. Okay, well, it looks like we're doing politics. Who does tree politics? It's the Greens! Worked on the campaign in 2015. They said, keep getting involved, keep getting involved. Ended up as the co-chair of the Young Greens of Canada, which put me on federal council as youth representative. That was heaps of fun. Learned lots and lots, and my path continued on until I moved to Ottawa to work in the Green Party office as a mobilizer, which was just so rewarding, learned so much, made some really, really good friends, and uh, which I've been doing this, along this entire way. Uh, and now you've elected me to be the president, uh, which is <laughs> still kind of surreal, but uh, we've got some energy for it. And since I became president, I was very fortunate to be welcomed to the Indigenous Peoples Advisory Circle who asked us to center trees. And now I've done this big full circle. <laughs> um, and it hasn't all been easy. The last couple of years, since, my, since no longer being a staff member, I've had to take a very serious step back. I, I think I've been rather upfront and I think I'd like to be more vocal about the experience of burnout and what we do here. There, we've been seeing examples of it all over this place in the short time I've had as president. I've seen lots of examples of really extreme burnout. I'm not suggesting that anyone needs to be sent away, but I do highly recommend anyone who is feeling that this is, no, I don't have the energy for this. I don't know if I can go on tomorrow. It's okay if you take a step back and take a breather. I did. Here I am now as the president, so maybe you'll be president after your step away as well. <laughs> In the meantime, fortunately, we have a new leader to elect this evening, and uh, I think we're going to have a really good time doing that. We'll be very grateful to have the fresh energy on board. So, time's up. Great. All right. So, enough about me. Uh, some of you might have heard, I hope you have heard, that we are in, we are having a by-election right now in the riding of Mississauga Lakeshore. Uh, unfortunately, our candidate, Mary Kidnew, can't be here because she's out hard campaigning for the Green Movement. <laughs> if you or anyone you know is interested in doing some remote work, or if you're in Mississauga Lakeshore, get involved in that campaign, follow, I'm sure you can find her on uh, our website or through Google, it's very straightforward. In lieu of having her here with us today, we have a short video that I would like to present to you now. Hello, Green Party members. My name is Mary Kidnew. I am the Green Party of Canada candidate for the uh, Mississauga Lakeshore by-election that's happening right now. I would be in Ottawa with you tonight. However, uh, because I want to stay on the ground, continue to connect with my constituents here in the riding, and continue to get work done, I am unable to join you in Ottawa. I hope you are all having a wonderful evening. Uh, huge congratulations to the committee that put together this amazing race. It has been fabulous. There has been great discussion. I know uh, there's been great happenings from coast to coast. So to all the EDAs that have stepped up to run debates and sessions and town halls, thank you so much. They have been informative and interesting to the candidates. In no particular order, to Chad and Elizabeth and Simon and Sarah and Anna and Jonathan, thank you so much for putting yourself forward, for stepping up on behalf of all the Greens across the country um, and to represent. You really have, uh, it's really a proud moment. And when I'm door knocking uh, 
you know, and people are concerned about the status of the party, I am assuring them that no matter which one wins this evening, uh, that we have all won because of the six of you. So thank you so much. Um, appreciate that what you're doing. I'm so sorry I won't be there, but uh, enjoy. Hello, Green. Mary Kidnew, everyone. Once again, Greens do really well in by-elections. If you're looking to have some satisfying results for your hard work as volunteers, check it out. We have another, of course, we have some very special people working for us in this party. Unfortunately, yet another of them, probably one of our most famous ones, is unable to be here tonight. Mike Morris is the Member of Parliament for Kitchener Centre, elected in 2021. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, he's out in Egypt working really hard for us to help save the world at COP27. And like uh, Mary, he has left us a video to share with the membership, and here is his message. Hi, everyone. Mike Morris here. Uh, in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt for COP27. By the time you're watching this, I'll be on my way back. It's really the only thing that, it, that would hold me back from being with you there tonight is continuing our shared advocacy alongside Greens from around the world to be calling for all governments to be holding on to the possibility of no more than a 1.5 degree rise in global average temperature. Every bit counts pushing for accountability to, de to deliver not just rhetoric, but funds for losses and damages being experienced in the global south as a result of this climate crisis that is predominantly as a result of actions from countries like ours in the global north. Recognizing actually, I'm the only MP from our parliament that was here at COP26 when our prime minister was also here making promises that haven't been kept including one to end international subsidies for climate finance to oil and gas. Actually, what happened in the time since is we introduced new ones, you know, a new tax credit for carbon capture and storage, a false climate solution. That's what we need to be, continue to be doing as Greens, to be calling out the science, calling for honesty and ambition. It's what I'm doing here. It's what we do in Parliament every single day, whether it's Parliament's out in PEI, through the work of Peter Bevan Baker and his team, Mike Schreiner in Ontario, Sonia Furstenau in BC. And it's why I'm so excited about tonight. Because tonight is through the wisdom of members that we're gonna come forward with a renewed leadership and it's through that leadership that we're gonna position ourselves to build on what Green MPs can do to get more MPs elected, to bring that much more voice for doing politics differently, for putting our democracy ahead of toxic partisanship and politics with a focus on the priorities of Canadians, the climate crisis and addressing it, ensuring a safe climate future top among them. I'm so glad that you're all there tonight together for such an important moment and I am there with you in spirit and with you in the days to come. Huge thank you to Mike. Really wish you could be here but I'm really glad he's there for us on our behalf. I would like to call up now someone very special to who has been integral in making this event as successful as it is. Uh, she is the co-critic on Shadow Cabinet for Canadian Heritage, super volunteer, our showrunner for the evening and wielder of the hook, Alison Lamb, come on up. Thank you so much, Ian. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. How inspirational was that? Isn't it amazing to have MPs like that? I'm really excited to get some more tonight. That was really passionate. That, I mean, it's like people like that that make it so easy for us to work so much without pay, right? <laughs> you really have to be dedicated to the movement, for sure. Although sometimes it might be nice if we're even paid, I don't know, in sunflower seeds or something yeah. like that. Right? Sunflowers, like the European Greens logo. Like our logo. What? That's, is that a sunflower? Hey. Hey. How about this? Is this sunflowery enough for you? <laughs> Wow, 
Well, it's sure nice to have a reminder of making sure that the next leader takes care of their mental health during your reign. And on that note, I'd like to introduce you to the candidates who uh, have been running to be your next leader. First up, I'd like to introduce Sarah Gabrielle Barron. Annie, bonjour, salut, good evening. Green philosophy has shaped my life since I was a teenager, since 1991. In 2005, when my youngest daughter turned three years old, I decided to run for the Greens in my home riding of Algoma, Manitoulin, and Kapuskasing. I wanted to show my daughters that this type of leadership, of sticking your neck out there for something you believe in, was important and doable. Needless to say, I caught the politics bug. <laughs> I'm very grateful to my family and my teachers along the way, particularly the Anishinaabe Nation creative writers, artists, elders, knowledge keepers, and co-workers who share their ways of being with non-Indigenous folks like me. I've learned so much about our shared treaty heritage from them, and I'm very proud of that part of my platform, which comes directly from this past year's member-made policy. We need to be proud of our member-made policy and always bring it forward. I'd like to highlight two amazing young men who've made my race possible. First, my assistant, Stephen Warren. At 18 years old, he was the youngest person to ever run in the Ontario election. The Green Party of Ontario and the Green Party of Canada are full of stellar young talent, and Stephen is a shining example of that. I'm deeply honoured that Stephen has given so much of his time and energy to my leadership race campaign. Thank you, Stephen. And my campaign manager, Brandon, at just 21 years old, Brandon has run a nationwide campaign that turned a country bumpkin into a camera-ready Canadian politician. <laughs> I would not have been able to make this transformation without you. Thank you, Brandon. Merci beaucoup aux mes amis verts qui m'ont aidé à améliorer mon français. J'ai encore beaucoup de chemin à faire, mais cette course nous a montré à tous que notre engagement à être totalement bilingue dans toutes les communications du parti est une priorité absolue. I'm so grateful to the other five contestants. I've learned so much from you, and we truly do feel like a team more than competitors. Thank you to the staff and volunteers who paved the way for this race on a daily basis over many, many months. And most importantly, thank you to our members. You are the lifeblood of this movement. You are the ones who support the candidates and make them confident when elections are called. We're a family, us Greens a family I'm proud to be part of. Merci, Sarah. À la prochaine, nous avons le membre de Saanich Gulf Islands, la députée, pardon, de uh, Saanich Gulf Islands, Elizabeth May. Thank you. Merci, Merci. Merci tout le monde. Gayla Kasla, Rainbow Eyes, I wish you were here. And I want to acknowledge that we are in the territory of the Algonquin peoples, Anishinaabe peoples. Parliament Hill sits on Algonquin land. And that's where I work. And I've been working in this leadership race and so very grateful to so many people. First among them, my co-running mate, Jonathan Pedno, who amazes me and inspires me every single day. C'est un grand honneur de devenir un ami. Um, nous sommes famille maintenant, c'est clair. Et uh, sa mère est aussi ce soir présente. C'est bon, bienvenue à Hélène. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that this leadership race has been such an inspiring and positive experience. Nous avons eu un course à la chefferie, non pareil. Comme Sarah a déjà dit, nous sommes comme un groupe Ami, une équipe, et une équipe qui veut travailler ensemble encore et encore pour les élections. Les prochaines élections et les élections euh, 
partiel, comme bonne chance à Mary Kidnew. There are a lot of things I'd like to say. A huge thank you to our interim leader, not intern leader, Amit Kuttner, who's done an amazing job. He is also, he did a lot to hold the party together, as have all our volunteers. It has been a bit of a rough patch, but we're out of it now. And we can confidently say that when tonight is over, we are united, regardless of the outcome. We are working together. I am super grateful to all the people in my life, particularly to my husband, John Kidder, to my wonderful kids. We have a blended family, so I got Nadia and Sasha and Joanna and Kate before I also got Kendall and Julia and Janet and wonderful grandchildren, but there's not time to list them because my clock says I've got two seconds left. And when you work in Parliament, you know you have to stop on time or the speaker cuts off your mic. Thanks so much. Bye. Et maintenant, j'ai le grand plaisir de vous présenter Chad Walcott. Thank you, Alison. And uh, I brought notes, so I don't forget to thank anyone. Uh, but yeah, this, this race, I want to just echo what Elizabeth was saying. This race has been an incredible experience, very positive. I think all of us did the work of starting the process of healing our party and taking the next steps in the future to make the Green Party of Canada a successful, viable, competitive political party. So thank you, everyone, for that. Um, I also want to thank uh, our staff the staff who stepped in and salvaged this race, thank you so much for all the work that you've done to make this truly one of the most uh, enjoy enjoyable experiences of my life and, and I think of all of our candidates' lives. Um, I also want to thank our interim leader, Amita Kuttner, um, who has spent the last year traveling the country with a message of love and unity for our party. Dr. Kuttner showed us how to lead the party with grace, even in the face of adversity. Amita leads with love, vulnerability, bravery, and courage, and in so doing, set an example, set an example we should do well to emulate and copy. <laughs> um, so thank you for your service and all, of you, all that you've done to bring unity to our party. Uh, I'm going to have to go faster because I only have a minute. So thank you to Tim Grant, who uh, lent us his home on multiple occasions while he camped out on the floor at some times. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for letting us take over your home. Uh, thank you to Mary Jane and Chris for letting us commandeer your living room and <laughs> build our website and build our pl policy platforms. Uh, thank you to Andrew in BC for your hospitality. Thank you to Jessica Alexander, Vivian, and James Unger uh, for allowing us again, to come into your homes for all of our debates and events that we held. Um, thank you to all of our wonderful volunteers for making thousands of calls throughout this campaign so we can reach all our mem members and spread our message of renewal for our party. Thank you especially to Ryan Clayton, our wonderful campaign manager, who uh, built us an amazing team and, and brought us to this point, to the success that we've been able to have. Thank you to Arlie Luckett for managing our call teams, to Chris Sturgeon for managing our volunteers, John Weston. Uh, thank you to Stephanie and Ruben for making a thousand calls <laughs> just to themselves. Um, so time is up. Uh, I want to thank a whole bunch of other people, but I'll, hopefully I'll have a victory speech to give at the end of this. So um, <laughs> thank you all for your time. Thanks a lot, Chad. Uh, it's now my honor to introduce uh, Jonathan Pedno, the youngest candidate of our leadership candidates. Very cool in my books. Un grand merci à vous tous de vous être déplacés. A big thanks as well to the Anishinaabek and Algonquin people who are hosting us here in Ottawa. A big thanks to all the volunteers, all the Green Party members who have kept this party alive through thin and thick for two years, two very difficult years, two years that have seen people struggle with the state of our party. Thank you for believing in the cause. Thank you for fighting every day for a livable planet for future generations. I want to thank also, of course, my family, my friends who have been putting up with me, sleeping on their couches, sur leur sofa, dans leurs appartements, à gauche, à droite. Thank you to all the volunteers as well in BC, in Alberta, in Quebec, in Ontario, who have uh, dedicated so many hours for us, for our campaign, 
believing in the fact that Elizabeth and I can bring renewal to this party, can bring this party back onto its feet, and can win more seats for future generations. Un grand merci à Marlene Wells et Randy Ramdeen, two amazing campaign managers without who this campaign would not have been possible. And a big thank you also to all the leadership contestants. You guys have been an incredible bunch to work with, to talk with, to debate with. Hats off. Hats off. You guys exemplify what the Green Party is about. This race has exemplified what the Green Party is about. It's about collaboration and cooperation first. And I hope that this continues after the results tonight. Merci. Au revoir. Thank you very much, Jonathan. And now, please give a warm welcome to Anna Keenan. Hi, everyone. It's a huge pleasure to be here tonight at the end of what has been an amazing nine months uh, since Chad and I first connected and an amazing 11 weeks since the launch of this campaign. I can only echo the thanks that has already been given to our team, to our volunteers, to the other contestants, to um, every, all of the staff of the Green Party who've made this possible tonight. I want to use my time here not to repeat those thanks, um, but to, to ask all of the members about how we can change and what we can do going forward. Um, my, my husband and son are here, and I had the great pleasure of, while, while all of the, the party turmoil was happening in the last two years, I had the great pleasure of going to Oscar's uh, under six soccer practices. And there I got to see my husband Robert coaching this team of six-year-olds. And the team spirit that they had was exemplary for all of us to follow. If somebody made a mistake, if they missed a goal, if they tripped and fell, if they weren't paying attention to the game, they didn't pile on and say, hey, you did a bad job, I would have done that differently. They said instead, hey, you missed it that time, try, better, try doing it this way next time. I support you, you're my teammate. We've got a lot of difference between all of the different groups in the party, and I believe that we're stronger together. We need to improve our culture, and I call on every single member of the party to consider, no matter who wins tonight, to consider how you contribute to making that positive culture going forward. How can you support the leader, no matter who they are, no matter if you were cheering for them or not? How can you support the other people in the party who you may agree with or disagree with? Everyone in the party is here because we're working for a sustainable future for the kids in that soccer team and, and everybody's children around the world. We're all trying to do this together. Let's support each other. If you've got criticism for someone or feedback, deliver it privately and in the spirit of love and support and growth. And if you've got praise for your teammate, teammates, express that publicly. That is the culture that I would like to see in the Green Party of Canada, no matter the result tonight. So I'm looking forward to the results and thank you everyone for being here. Merci beaucoup, Anna. Et finalement, je vous présente le sixième de six, six candidats, Simon Gnocchini. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, what to say after all those great speeches for, from the five other candidates? It was like that's everything I'm thinking. And like Anna was saying, playing in a team, like having the right spirit and working together and going forward. We're all there to work together and to make things happen. And we all know why we're doing that. And it's so important that the Green Party uh, is a strong party that grow and get more MPs and bring your policy forwards and get into the House of Commons and in the government and make sure that we will build that society the way we see that it will sustain, be sustainable for, for our children and, and the children of our children. And I think that's so important. So I'll do a part in French because uh, I'm, I'm French. Uh, so, donc, je pense que c'est très important de travailler en équipe, d'être là les uns pour les autres, uh, et puis de nous assurer qu'on on va de l'avant. Puis il va y avoir des différences d'opinion, c'est clair. Il faut communiquer, avoir une bonne communication et être en mesure uh, de garder l'esprit ouvert, de respecter l'autre. 
euh, de bien s'entendre. Euh, donc, c'est toutes des choses qui vont nous permettre de construire, d'aller de l'avant et de faire grandir le mouvement. Euh, je vais terminer en remerciant euh, mon équipe. Euh, donc, il y a certains des membres de mon équipe qui sont ici ce soir. Euh, Didier, qui, euh, qui est la première personne que j'ai rencontrée quand je me suis joint euh, au vert. Donc, euh, c'est grâce à Didier que je me suis présenté à, à l'élection de 2021. Et euh, par la suite, il y a Yann Shaw également, là, qui est un, un joueur important dans, dans mon équipe. Merci, euh, Yann, d'avoir été là. Merci, Didier. Et merci aussi à tous les volontaires. Merci à, à l'équipe du, du Parti vert, à Mita, à Dana, tout, toute l'équipe de, euh, de, de de, de, des employés du, du parti qui ont toujours été là, qui ont répondu à, à, à nos questions, euh, qui, qui étaient professionnels et qui ont su euh, mener les choses dans, dans la bonne direction. Donc, euh, merci à tout le monde, puis au plaisir de, de discuter avec vous. Thank you all. Oh my goodness, I think we need another round of applause for our six candidates. Bien fait tout le monde. Bien fait, bien fait tout le monde. Do you smell that? It smells like fresh meat. Is it beyond meat? No, that's our new executive director. <gasps> Get on up here, Kevin Dunbar. <laughs> Have you join us? Oh, my pleasure. I'm so, I, I, now that you're anyway. here, yeah. I've got to ask you. Okay. This whole hiring process, it's been pretty, it could be stressful, it's pretty strenuous, it's definitely quite comprehensive. I mean, there was the interview process, and there were several interviews, and you were invited to join some meetings so you could see what it was all about. So I only got to have one question for you. Why? <laughs> what possessed you? <laughs> you know, the, the really, really short answer, I've got three daughters at home and I don't want to hand them a planet that's burning. And so I want to do everything that I can. And I believe that the Green Party, we've got the energy and the opportunity to do it, to change it. So that's fabulous to hear. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we'd love to know a little bit about you. Tell us a bit of your story. Uh, so hi, I'm Kevin. I'm from Victoria, BC. Um, I have spent the last 15 or so years of my life working in humanitarian responses around the world and working in nonprofit management. And I've seen in, in lots of countries around the world firsthand the impacts of social inequality, inequality, gender inequality, and the climate crisis. And it's ugly. Um, and my goal and my role here is to make sure the Green Party is working as effectively as possible so that we can support all parts of this party and really move forward together. Because we have an opportunity now. People are in, interested now, and we need to really move things forward. Really can't wait. My kids can't wait. I can't wait. And I'm also excited to be here. I've met a lot of really exciting, great people. And that's really what energizes me, which is why I'm happy to be here and not on Zoom. <laughs> that is pretty reassuring. So we've got new ED, new president, soon to be new leader. We're going to definitely be uh, depending on your energy moving forward. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Now, get out of here. This Thanks. show isn't about you. <laughs> Another warm hand, please. Come on up here. So, I have certainly learned a lot in my year as leader. Have you learned anything during the leadership race? Peut-être quelque chose très intéressant. Okay, Alison. I learned something very important. You really can't run as co-leaders without a really cool and catchy couple name. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Well, for instance, if the two of you were to run, I think you should be Ianita. Oh, so like if the two of you were running, you would be uh, Amilan? Isn't that a mental health drug? <laughs> <laughs> a okay, and, that, yeah. and then so the two of you would be uh, Alien. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, astrophysicist. <laughs> well, what about our candidates then? Well, let's start with Chad and Anna. What would you call them? <gasps> Chanana! <laughs> No. <laughs> what about Chana? Ch Chana? Like Chana Masala? Isn't that like uh, chickpea curry? But of course, the party could use a bit more spice. <laughs> yeah. 
What about Elizabeth and Jonathan? OK, on voit Elizabeth et Jonathan, c'est Elisathan. En anglais, c'est Elizathan. Oh, that's a bit too much like Leviathan. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, que pensez-vous de Jobeth? Jobeth, like little women? Well, that's a little bit turn of the century for this. Mm, well, uh, oh. Pay. That's what we need to do. <laughs> that would be a great fundraising name. <laughs> well, we can't be playing with all these candidates without including Simon and Sarah. That's true. There was speculation at one point that they might have run as co-leaders. Mm. Okay, donc on a Sarah et Simon, c'est so saumon. C'est saumon. Salmon. <laughs> How perfect. <laughs> Maybe that's why they didn't run together. <laughs> well, Amita? Well, Ian. Well, Alison. Je pense peut-être c'est le moment pour quelque chose un peu plus sérieux avant qu'on a notre résultat. Que penses-tu? Absolument. Let's reset the tone a little bit because very soon the ballot will be revealed. Very soon. In the spirit of resetting the energy, thank you for the theatrics, everyone. Great entertainment, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> uh, I've a last gift for everyone here. I have a poem from Rudyard Kipling, The Way Through the Woods, which I think is really fitting for this moment right now. They shut the road through the woods 70 years ago. Weather and rain have undone it again, and now you would never know there was once a road through the woods before they planted the trees. It is underneath the coppice and heath and the thin anemones. Only the keeper sees that where the ring dove broods and the badgers roll at ease, there was once a road through the woods. Yet, if you enter the woods of a summer evening late, when the night air cools on the trout-ringed pools where the otter whistles his mate, they fear not men in the woods because they see so few. You will hear the beat of a horse's feet and the swish of a skirt in the dew steadily cantering through the misty solitudes as though they perfectly knew the old lost road through the woods. But there is no road through the woods. de comédie. Dans quelques minutes, on va avoir notre nouvelle, nouveau ou nouvelle chef. À ce point-là, vraiment, je tiens de vous remercier tous, tous les membres du parti, tous les candidats, tout le monde ici ce soir et, et tout, tout le monde dans le pays, vraiment. This year has been beautiful because it has filled with each and every one of you. Je pensais avant ce soir que pourrais-je dire maintenant en ce moment plein d'émotions et aussi pour moi après cette année plein d'espoir pour le parti, pour notre pays et pour le monde entier. I could tell you stories. I have quite a few at this point. Or celebrate the significant events of this year. I, I have grown my first beard hair and now have to shave it along with my baby mustache. Or, or the fact that I, I may have crab walked through the halls of parliament right in front of the prime minister. <laughs> Mais aussi, quelles idées puis-je vous apporter? À vous tous, c'est aussi à notre prochain ou prochaine chef. Je vous donne alors un instant de réflexion. On tour, on our, my reconnection tour across the country this year, it, for those of you who were there, you heard me. I said that we would time travel a bit which is my offering as much as I can actually time travel for, for an astrophysicist. But I thought for tonight, maybe we would do some space travel. So I'd like you to join me. The door is open on my space plane and don't worry, it's a renewably powered. I'm sure we'll get there one day. Imagination is in fact very efficient in green transport. Et faites attention, c'est un peu froid dehors avec les escaliers. 
Take your seats. Find a row. Sit beside someone you're happy to see or someone you're happy to meet for the first time. Buckle up. Look out the window. We go to take off as we do. It's about sometime in the afternoon, not so late as it is now. And as we take off, you see what you do from any earthbound plane and not a space plane, the ground leaving behind us, the city, les immeubles, tout le monde dans leur voiture, aller à la travail, toutes les choses normales. And yet, as we go further and higher above, it shrinks away from us and we see the landscape start to appear. You have the city turning into the fields, the green, the brown. And a step farther, you start to see, as we soar above, biome after biome, each one that we hold dear. Les rivières, les océans, les grands forêts, les montagnes, notre terre. And from the heights we begin to reach, there are no borders. And we drift over top, starting to depart our thin atmosphere, and we see below us the night side of the planet, the shimmering lights visible to everyone, all a sign of who we are and what we've become, a civilization. And we depart that thin atmosphere. Nous nous éloignons plus entre la terre et la lune, et maintenant on voit notre planète, notre maison, our home, whole, étincelante parmi les étoiles. And we go farther again, past the moon, earth, our very earth with everything on it, a crescent in the sky. And now, of course, we, we have to speed up. Obviously, can't really get much further at the pace we've been going. Now we see, as the planets appear small somehow on our journey, and you look out your window on my plane. Mars, the gas giants, notre système solaire avant nous, derrière nous, peut-être c'est la même chose. And let's go just a bit further tonight. We depart the plane of our galaxy, leaving behind the arm and we see it appear before us, the Milky Way, and somehow it sits among so many others like it or slightly different. And further and further away still, galaxies upon galaxies giving way to filaments that seem to resemble what's inside our own minds. And okay, on arrête là pour, pour, pour ce soir. Et on retourne à notre planète, back into the web of galaxies, one after the other, finding our own, our home, and back into the arm. And we find our solar system. Special, isn't it? And as we creep past the Oort cloud, for the nerds out there, and past again the ice giants, the gas giants, and slowing down maybe a little bit, just, quand notre terre est là maintenant devant vous, devant nous, And there, voila, la terre réapparaît, bleue et vert et brun et blanche, la glace encore. And this is where our hope lies. In this world, every single thing we hope for, we dream for, the dreams of all of humanity and every other creature that we call family. And really, it is why I am here in love with everything that we can be and everything we hope together in this family. And this is why we're here tonight. Do you see what a chance this is on this planet? Nous les Verts, avec notre vision pour, pour notre civilisation qui est durable, équitable pour les générations et, et en équilibre avec la nature, c'est pour ça. That's why we must be bold. We must build the future that we dream of, building and starting with that dream in community, with care and compassion. And let's now land our plane, our eco-space plane, and find out 
who will lead us on the next leg of our journey. So before I end, I just have to thank everyone that got us to this point today. A chaque candidat et candidate, all their campaigns, all the applicants as well who applied to be here. The teams, of course, super important. Every single member of staff, every single volunteer that contributed everything to this and the organizers for tonight. I think as I'm not going to be able to name everyone, it's just impossible. <laughs> but I will say a few people that were absolutely quintessential for this evening. Nancy, Fabrice, Erika, Robin, the whole mob team, Dana, my fantastic deputy leaders, Allison, Ian, Crystal, AV team, everyone else here tonight, and everyone that I forgot, my apologies. And I will just end by saying, vous êtes ma famille, vraiment. Everywhere I went, it's like finding family. So from the deepest places in my heart, I can never repay you for the joy and the beauty that you've shared with me this year. Merci. So we've arrived now, <laughs> plain analogies aside. So je vais annoncer les résultats par rond. I will start in English for a round, then do it in French to make sure we're all on the same page. Good? Good. Okay. The round one results by number of votes for Elizabeth May, 3,736 votes, Anna. Keenan, 2,034 votes. Jonathan Pedno, 775 votes. Chad Walcott, 500 and I hope I can read this writing right, 47 votes? 97, th thank you, sorry. Simon Nokini messier 399 votes. Sarah Gabrielle Barron, 378 votes. None of the above, 161 votes. None of the above gets knocked off. Donc, on a, dans le premier rang, Elisabeth May avec 3,736 votes, Anna Kinen avec 2,034 votes, Jonathan Pedno avec 775 votes, merci. Chad, je ne peux pas lire mes noms. Chad Walcott avec 547 votes. Ils sont là aussi, je vais lire là. Okay. Simone Gnocchini Messier, 399 votes. Désolé. Et puis Sarah Gabriel Barron avec 304... Non, oui. 78 votes. Merci et aucun de ces options est éliminé. Prochain tour. Anna et Elisabeth avec 3745 votes. Anna Kinen avec 2048 votes. Jonathan Pedno avec 780 votes. Chad Walcott avec 556 votes. Simon Gnocchini Messier avec 404 votes. Et Sarah Gabrielle Baron avec 396 votes. Donc Sarah est éliminée. And, oh, sorry, I changed languages backwards. This is apparently the most stressful part of the evening, is reading numbers. <laughs> and this is the true test of anyone's French. Okay. Not the crab walking. So not the crab walking, it's this part. So in the wrong language now, Elizabeth May with 3,746 votes, Anna Keenan with 2,048 votes, Jonathan Pedno with 780 votes, Chad Walcott with 556 votes, Simon Gnocchini Messier with 404 votes, and Sarah Gabriel Barron with 396 votes. I will pause at this moment to say thank you. Thank you so much to Sarah for your campaign, for running, and I will pause to say a round of appreciation, so I think we should. I wanna, I, I, di I did this before I ran for leadership, as you may or may not know, so I wanna say being a candidate for leadership is not easy. 
It takes a lot. So to every single person that stepped up to do this, to Sarah for your campaign, it takes a lot. Good job. And now, next round. In English, Elizabeth May, 3,830 votes. Anna Keenan, 2,158 votes. Jonathan Pedno, 817 votes. Chad Walcott, 589 votes. Simone Gnocchini Messier, 487 votes. Et en français. Les résultats du troisième tour du, de scrutin. Elizabeth May avec 3,830 votes. Anna Keenan avec 2,158 votes. Jonathan Pedno avec 817 votes. Chad Walcott avec 589 votes. Et Simon Gnocchini Messier avec 487 votes. Donc, Simon, merci beaucoup. Tu And before, absolutely, I'm glad we did the full round right away, then we're good here. I want to stop again and say that the members of the campaign de campagne aussi qui font un parti très important des, de, des élections à la chefferie. Donc, merci à tout le monde qui a participé dans les campagnes cette année. C'est très important, merci. Et puis, prochain tour, next round. In English, Elizabeth May with 3,953 votes, Anna Keenan with 2,303 votes, Jonathan Pedno with 893 votes, Chad Walcott with 665 votes. Et en français, les résultats du quatrième tour, Elizabeth May, 3,953 votes, Anna Keenan, 2,303 votes, Jonathan Pedno, 804 93 votes. Chad Walcott, 665 votes. Donc, merci Chad pour être candidat à la chef. And now I will thank everyone who participated in this election all the EDAs who organized events, all the people who showed up to make sure that we had an exciting and fun, amazing leadership race. Without you all, we would also not be able to make it through this. Donc maintenant, le prochain tour. Fifth ballot results. Elizabeth May sits at 4,008 votes. Anna Keenan at 2,819 votes. Jonathan Pedno with 969 votes. Et en français, résultat du cinquième tour. Elisabeth May, 4008 votes. Anna Keenan, 2819 votes. Jonathan Pedno, 969 votes. Merci Jonathan pour votre campagne. And where would we be without all of our staff, our volunteers, the members that make things happen? This night wouldn't happen, the whole thing wouldn't happen, our party wouldn't run, the world wouldn't run. So thank you so much for your participation as well in our leadership race and in our party. And the next round. Six ballot results. Elizabeth May, 4,666 votes. Anna Keenan, 3,089 votes. Et en français, Elizabeth May, 4,666 votes. Et Anna Keenan, 3,089 votes. Donc, avant que je dise les mots, thank you. Anna, for your campaign. I will do the actual phrase of announcing the leader. And I just want to say, for democracy, pour la démocratie, thank you to everyone who actually voted in this leadership race.
And now I give you the once and future leader of the Green Party, Elizabeth May. Je... Prochaine chef du Parti Vert du Canada, Elizabeth May. You know what? It just doesn't feel right to have it just be Jonathan and me up here. We're a team. Sarah, Simon, Chad, and Anna, come on up. We're a team. Come on up. So I just got an invitation to PEI, that's <laughs> <laughs> happening soon. Listen, I think we should stay here together for a moment or two. I've seen too much stuff in the media about how we're a party divided and we can't get our act together. I challenge anyone here to remember any other party that ever ran a leadership race where everybody built the other candidates up, supported each other, built a team. Nous sommes ensemble comme une équipe verte. Nous sommes ensemble de travailler à l'avenir ensemble. Nous sommes une équipe. So, if you want to go sit down, I can sit down, but it's up to you. You want to go? Okay, okay, you can sit down. I, I said, if, you know, if you don't have to hang around, if you want to relax. Um, je veux dire un grand merci à tout le monde. Um, la gestion de campagne pour moi, my dear friend Marlene Wells, who's down there, yay Marlene, who did an awesome job, and Jonathan's campaign manager Randy Ramdeen. <laughs> Very grateful, and to a lot of our volunteers, to Lindsay, and to Chip, to Sheila, to. Uh, Evelyn, Ev Tanaka, and Naomi, and so many wonderful people across the country. It's difficult to put into words what it means to take a stage as the next leader of the Green Party of Canada. Uh, c'est un peu de déjà vu, mais ce n'est pas la même chose, parce que c'est en, en 2006 que j'étais élu, la première fois comme chef, Mais maintenant, c'est une proposition tout à fait différente, parce que je ne suis pas ici toute seule. I'm here with my partner, the youngest candidate in the race. I don't want to emphasize too much on the oldest candidate in the race, but <laughs> at, a, at a very young 68, my running mate and partner, and we hope the party will accept that it's always up to the members, our members of the strength of the party and our members of the power of the party, to decide whether we will take our constitution to co-leaders. I was reading today the disastrous COP27 news and looking at the quotes, who was quoted, which ministers, which countries are progressive in pushing for change. The foreign affairs minister for Germany was quoted, Annalena Borbach, co-leader of the German Greens. I was reading a quote from the Irish climate minister, Eamon Ryan, leader of the Greens of Ireland, reading a comment from one of the strongest climate negotiators there, James Shaw, Minister of Climate from New Zealand, co-leader of the New Zealand Greens. For those of you who are scratching your heads at home and saying, co-leader, what's that mean? It means a different model for leadership that emphasizes that Greens do things differently we don't have a top-down leader, a boss, who tells people what to say or where to go or how to vote. Jamais. We have a distributed model of leadership, and Jonathan and I believe that our values are better reflected in co-leadership. And obviously, Chad Wolcott and Anna Keenan believe the same. So our party will go forward to look at some significant changes. 16 years ago, when I was elected leader, in this space, well not quite this space, next door at the conference center in, in late August of 2006, we had far fewer members and a lot of our members didn't think we could elect anyone as, until we got rid of first past the post. It was a while to win the first green seat. It was until May of 2011 when I defeated a sitting cabinet minister from Stephen Harper's cabinet and took my seat unexpectedly to some 
not a surprise to the voters in Saanich Gulf Islands who had rallied round to make this happen. I'm so honored to have been elected and then re-elected and, and remain a very, very humble and grateful representative of the people of Saanich Gulf Islands, which is on the traditional territory of the Saanich Nation. So I raise my hands to the people, particularly the indigenous peoples of my communities, and say in Sanchothan, Heishka, Heishka CM, I am so very grateful. Three years ago, just this month, three years ago, I stepped down as leader, confident that the party was strong and ready with three elected MPs to see a change. I do think we need change. I absolutely hear the voices that want change, that want to see younger leadership, that want to see a different way the party goes forward. It's been 11 weeks since I was allowed to say out loud that I was running for leader of the Green Party of Canada and that my running partner in this was Jonathan Peno. I want to turn the microphone to Jonathan and then wrap up with a few final words after, after sharing, because this is about sharing. This is a real partnership. And I know I'm supposed to keep going, but I want Jonathan to say a few words and then I'll close up. Merci, Elizabeth. Merci, Elizabeth. Merci à tous les candidats. Merci aux membres qui ont voté, parce que sans vous, ce parti n'existe pas. Et je pense que c'est important de le rappeler. Vous êtes le cœur du Parti vert, le Parti vert qu'on a enterré tant de fois et est encore en vie, puis on va aller plus loin. On va aller beaucoup plus loin. We know that there's much to do to cultivate trust, to rebuild trust internally, but there's also a lot of work to do to project that confident, happy, smiley face of ours externally. So I want to I want to do that very briefly uh, because the odds do appear to be against us. But that's a story that most Canadians would be familiar with because the odds were against us and continue to be against us in so many different ways. Canada is a place where small can mean mighty, where smar small can be smart and overtake the powerful ones, the powerful interests. And this is what the Green Party is about. This is what the membership, this is what this party will continue to do in Ottawa and throughout the country. Look, we're the party for the families that want to spend more time with their loved ones. We're the party for those who think that billionaires should not exist. We're the party for those who believe strongly that this planet needs protecting. On est le parti pour les Québécois qui cherchent une voie différente à Ottawa, une voie qui va les représenter de manière objective, mais qui va aussi faire avancer les intérêts de tous les Québécois et de l'environnement et de la planète. So this is the work that Elizabeth and I will be doing, and we look forward to your support. Thank you once again, Elizabeth. I reflected on what had happened, sorry, 16 years ago and what happened three years ago. But I want to go way back to what happened 40 years ago. My husband was just reminding me that it was exactly this month, 40 years ago, that he was part of the founding of the first of the Greens in Canada, the Green Party of British Columbia. 2023 will be the 40th anniversary of the Green Party of Canada. It's time for a lot of grown-up stuff that happens when you turn 40 and you make sure that everything is really nailed down and you're going to do a great job here on out. We've got to be able to be, how do we figure out at under 40 how to buy a house? I don't think we're going to be able to figure that out. But we are going to be a party that earns the trust and the faith of Canadians and before the next election gives Canadians an option they can vote for with enthusiasm instead of once again going, going to the polls and holding their nose and voting for someone they don't particularly like in hopes they keep someone worse out. That's not the election I want to see, not for the next generation. I think we can all be inspired by what just happened in the November, in the midterms in the United States, because guess who turned out to vote? The people who were supposed to give it a miss. The youth, the women, the young women who said, if you're gonna try to take away my rights and fight women's rights, 
We're going to teach you a thing or two, and we're going to deliver a result the polls didn't see coming. We're going to do that again in this country, because when Greens win, it's from high voter turnout. When I was elected back in May 2011, it was because Saanich Gulf Islands had the highest voter turnout in the country. All the people who had given up decided to pick up their stubby little pencil and exercise some power. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give Canadians a reason to believe that democracy works. It's vraiment possible d'avoir un changement avec le pouvoir sur le terrain, avec les racines très engagées dans les enjeux primordiales, particulièrement contre l'urgence, la crise de changement climatique. I'm going to close with some words that I actually shared back in August 2006. It's a quote from someone I had the honor to know, a friend of mine, one of the founders of the German Greens, Petra Kelly. Uh, Petra Kelly said in the early part of the 1990s, quote, if there is a future, it will be green. S'il y a un avenir, il sera vert. C'est clair que maintenant, c'est la science qui dit la même chose. It's no longer a hypothetical statement. If there is a future, it will be green. It's a scientific reality. We don't hang on to human civilization. We don't protect our biosphere as a living, healthy thing, which, by the way, the economy, as Herman Daly, great economist, used to say, the economy is a wholly owned subsidiary of the environment. I have sort of a, a bulletin to Pierre Poiliev. There is no economy without a functioning biosphere. I could send the same memo to Justin Trudeau because he has also forgotten. Petra Kelly said, quote, we, the generation that faces the next century, can add this solemn injunction. If we don't do the impossible, we will be faced with the unthinkable, unquote. Fortunately in this, Greens draw inspiration from others who have done the impossible, whether it's Nelson Mandela, whether it's Martin Luther King, we draw inspiration from those who have proven that the status quo and the trend lines of the moment can be changed. The future is not yet written. And we refuse to face the unthinkable, we refuse and those of you who are boomers like me get a lot more radical now. We're fighting for our grandchildren. We don't give up. We don't take breaks. We work till we ensure that the planet is secure. S'il y a un avenir, il sera vert. Merci et bonne nuit. Non, non, non. Here I am in the middle of their applause. This is not right. <laughs> C'est maintenant le, le... Non, non, non. C'est maintenant le moment pour les questions des médias. It's now time for media questions. We have about 10 minutes before I'll come back and close the evening. Et uh, Fabrice, là, a le micro pour tout le monde qui veut demander une question. So everyone wants a question. Fabrice has a microphone. We have about 10 minutes for questions, and I'll close. And then there will be further questions after. Hi, congratulations, you two. Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as you oh, hear sorry. me, David Thurton, CBC News. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I guess the first question I just want to ask you is like, obviously, Madam May, you're the leader of the Greens. You're the official leader. But is it fair to say that, you know, unofficially, that you consider yourself and Pedno the leader of the Greens? Is that? Officially, we ran as separate campaigns as required by Elections Canada and the Green Party rules. But people voting for me knew the platform was very clearly to offer ourselves as a team. And we cannot use the term we are now co-leaders of the Green Party of Canada because that will require a change to the Constitution. But we are clearly a team. And uh, Jonathan and I will be explaining details uh, in coming days. But we are here to be with members' approval after the next constitutional 
convention, which we pr I hope will be soon, we'll be able to go forward. I know Sarah's been pr proposing, and I agree totally that the next BGM should be, uh, or annual general meeting, should be this spring. I hope so. So do you intend to appoint Pedno as your deputy leader? And that's, how will that look to, yeah, sorry. That, that's what's in the platform on the website of elizabethmay.ca and jonathanpedno.ca. But not officially your co-leader. And just this, the follow-up question. And I have to stop and say, the deputy leader for Quebec appointed by Dr. Kuttner, Luc Jolicoeur, has been amazing. Luc Jolicoeur a fait un job incroyable et j'espère qu'il va rester dans le, fa le, le cabinet fantôme comme critique de finances. Okay, and, and just the, the follow-up and final question for me is, what do you make of the turnout? We're, we're seeing that 36%, somewhere around 36%, of eligible green voters, your members, voted in this election. Last time we elected, a, you all elected a leader, well, you know, the turnout was around 69%. What does that say to you about the health of democracy within your party, engagement, all that kind of stuff? I have to say I am disappointed by the level of turnout, but I have to say given the climate in which this campaign was fought, and I think all of us as candidates felt the headwinds, it's a respectable show of support from our membership in their commitment to this party. It's far more members than were able to vote in 2006 because the party membership has grown so much. So it's, uh, it's something that we will pay attention to and listen to and ensure that our members are engaged and that many more of them uh, return to the party. By the way, if you're watching this from somewhere and you let your membership lapse, I have heard from lots of people say, oh, I thought I was still a member. I wanted to vote for you, but I just checked. I'm not a member anymore. Join, please, now. Send money, please, now. Uh, we are rebuilding the party, and it is a team effort. Everybody on board. Hey, je, je vais vous relancer sur cette question-là. Qu'est-ce que ça dit quand un tiers seulement des membres se prononce? Euh, Est-ce que, est que la situation est récupérable, j'ai envie de vous dire, ou euh, c est, c est, ça ne lit plus, on est dans une débandade? Oui, oh non, c'est absolument, nous sommes forts. Nous avons deux députés dans la Chambre de commune. Ce n'est pas facile d'avoir ça. Euh, il y a les autres partis au niveau fédéral, comme le, peuple, le Parti des peuples avec Maxime Bernier. Euh, il n'y a pas gagné un seul siège. Euh, un parti avec deux députés est un parti avec un, une position forte. Et maintenant, on doit reconstruire les autres éléments, particulièrement de lire euh, les autres députés. Peut-être les autres députés vont nous joindre comme traverser les paquettes. Possible, possiblement. Nous avons les possibilités euh, énormes pour reconstruire le parti et pour gagner dans les sondages et gagner les sièges. Est-ce qu'il y a des députés que vous avez déjà dans votre mire qui pourraient retraverser? Est-ce que, par exemple, une Jenica Atwin pourrait se, re, se joindre à nouveau au vert? Oui. Il y a quelques députés. J'ai parlé avec quelques députés de temps en temps qui sont intéressés. Mais maintenant, on, ce n'est pas, je ne veux pas utiliser les noms des députés dans les autres partis pour euh, raison très euh, évidemment évide. J'aimerais vous entendre sur votre collaboration de, je comprends, co-chef ou co-porte-parole. Est-ce euh, que les membres auront de l'appétit pour ça? Parce que je pense que ça a déjà été soumis. Euh, Est-ce est que vous sentez de l'appétit chez les membres pour ce genre de leadership-là à deux têtes? Je pense que oui. Il y a pour les autres candidats ici, nous avons eu dans la dernière course à la chefferie une conversation très euh, active sur cette question. Il y a plusieurs questions vers les autres candidats euh, dans la dernière course à la chefferie. Et aussi, je veux dire que, particulièrement pour les membres du Parti vert au Québec, ce n'est pas quelque chose euh, inconnu à cause de les deux porte paroles de Québec solidaire. Monsieur Pedneau, j'aimerais vous entendre en terminant sur, selon vous, euh, bien, vous, vous êtes nouveau quand même en, en, en politique. Le plus grand défi euh, du Parti vert, selon vous, à ce moment-ci, est-ce que c'est est, est, d'unifier les troupes? Est-ce que c'est les finances? Euh, est-ce que c'est de même de redéfinir peut-être le, le rôle du parti? Bien, le plus grand parti, du, le plus grand défi du Parti vert, bien évidemment, c'est de, de faire avancer nos politiques à Ottawa, de faire élire plus de verts. Puis pour ce faire, on a besoin de rallier les troupes, 
On a besoin de plus de fonds, puis Elisabeth et moi allons mener ce combat de front avec tous les membres qui sont déjà impliqués, puis avec un peu d'espoir, avec tous les incroyables candidats que cette course a, par, a parvenu à faire connaître euh, aux yeux de tous les membres, puis des Canadiens en général. Et vous, votre rôle, vous le voyez comment, puisque vous n'êtes pas élu? Vous allez faire du terrain, ce sera quoi votre rôle? Principalement, on a de grands défis en termes d'organisation à l'interne. Il faut qu'on fasse accroître notre membership. Donc, avec Elisabeth, on va continuer à être sur le terrain, on va continuer à aller parler aux Canadiens, aux Québécois, euh, d'un océan à l'autre, pour faire croître le membership, ramener les troupes, et puis avoir une bonne équipe à présenter aux Canadiens à la prochaine élection. Nous sommes un exemple de l'avenir de partager à le job. Job sharing is us. Grace Vitel, the Toronto Star. Uh, you've both spoken about rebuilding trust in this party, and I'm wondering what will you tackle first to achieve that? We need, we have put in our platform very detailed plans. I think it's worth mentioning that in the two years or so that we've had um, recent troubles, there's never been a time that all the members elected to federal council have been in the same room together, have even met. I think we need a retreat as soon as possible to bring together the leadership, federal council elected members, our newly elected president, whom you've had the joy to meet tonight, Ian Sutar, members of the fund. It's it, human relationships and trust are based on contact information, but really the, the, the social cohesion that comes from actually meeting someone builds trust. Uh, it's been very hard to have Zoom meetings for people to build trust in each other. So that'll be the first step. We'll be, I think, very successful in fundraising in the month of December. That will, again, build more confidence going forward. And we will expect to see some good results in Parliament very soon. And as a second question, what would you say the relevance of the Green Party is now under your leadership or future co-leadership? When the Secretary General of the United Nations says the world is on a highway to climate hell, foot on the accelerator, and only one political party in Canada speaks to this directly and honestly, with a plan to first take your foot off the accelerator, maybe change course, do what's required to ensure we have a livable world, we're the only relevant party. Quelques d'autres questions? Any other questions? And I think we're inviting back up our phenomenal, immediately past leader, the amazing Dr. Amita Kuttner. Thank you, everyone. This is the end of our evening of programming. We'll all be around for questions, of course. It's la fin de la soirée maintenant. And of course, the beginning of a new chapter. So thank you everyone, merci beaucoup tout le monde, bonne nuit, good evening.